Hi guys, it's Xiaomi and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I decided to do a little haul. I recently went and visited Japan and Korea and I fell in love. Korea was my second time going, but we did a lot of different things in the last time. I did do a little vlog on Korea, so you can click up here to see what I got up to last time. This time I didn't really vlog, I just wanted to kind of embrace the moment, enjoy every single second of it. I did a lot of my Insta stories though, so you can also check out my Instagram to see what I got up to in Seoul this time round. When I went to Tokyo, Tokyo was my first time going. fell in love. I honestly can't even express how much I fell in love with Japan. It was just so different. It was so... I was in awe all the time. It was very like gobsmacking. But yeah, we was there for one week each. One week in Japan and one week in Korea. But I felt like it's not enough to scour Japan for one week. So we may be going back next year. Yeah, let's just get started. This is the bag full of goodies. This is the bag from Duty Free called Duty Duty Free. There's like a duty free store in Seoul where it's basically just all tax free goods. All of the Korean brands was all tax free. They're all bundled up in here so I'm just going to do it really randomly and whatever pulls out is that's that. Okay so this was from Cosrx. So this is basically a AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner and what it is basically is just a spray that tones your face I believe and you use this before makeup or just after skincare in general and I found it really interesting and I heard quite a lot of good things about this and I got it from A-Land in Hongdae and they also have an A-Land in Myeongdong. This I didn't really buy. I kind of we got this from a maid cafe in Tokyo and we got it for free with our meal. So cute. Oh, I should wear this. Should I wear this? Nah. So this is like a face mask that I got from Tokyo as well in one of the drugstores I got there. It's like an egg pack face mask. It just looks like this. When you open it, it's so cute. But I must say, there's more skincare and makeup brands like very saturated in Korea compared to Japan. In Japan, it's very, um, you have to go to like drugstores to buy some of the skincare stuff. Whereas Korea, there's a lot of standalone stores for their own brands. Next, this one. I got a toothbrush because I just feel like it's very minimal. And it's just so cute. So I just got that from Korea in a drugstore in Korea. I can't remember what it was called. But it's just this Pantone toothbrush. Yeah, it has its own stand like that. I'm just so obsessed because it's so minimal and it's so cute. One shop I went crazy for, for little bits and bobs, is Daiso. I just think, it was like one, it was like basically like Poundland, but much better and much, just way much better. I got a few hair stuff from Daiso and also like a few like travel stuff. I got this curler, I got two sets of these. The other one is over there somewhere, but it's basically a hair curler. And what's cool about it is that when you open it and you curl your hair with it, you can clip it so it stays in place. I just think that's really cool. And this was 2001. Oh, I actually got this in Korea. There's Daiso in Korea and there's also obviously Daiso in Japan. Let me convert how much that is. Let me see. 2001 is £1.36. That is a bargain. And I also got this one. This one was also 2001, so also £1.36. You basically have to put your hair through the wrap thing, this thing, and then you just twist it round underneath and it should give you like messy waves. So that's what it looks like when you sleep. And then this is what it should look like. 
I also got this vitamin pack. It's like a little vitamin organizer so you can bring vitamins with you and organize at the same time. This one was 1001. It's like a mini first aid. You also have little compartments in this section where you can just flip each one of them open like that. So another thing I got, I went to Laneige. One of them I already used. It's basically the lip sleeping mask. They was actually doing a special offer when it came to the Laneige lip balms. So I managed to get two. One of them, oh, one of them I already opened, which is this one. And I just love it because it's so creamy. It's literally, oh my goodness, it's so creamy. And what's cool about it is that it comes with a spatula that comes in a little pouch like this. So you literally scoop out the lip balm and then you apply it on your finger and apply it on your lips, which is super hygienic. I wish every tub lip balm did that because it just makes everything hygienic. And then I also went to Etude House. I feel like Etude House always does the cute packaging. So I went and got this milky soda. Honestly, the packaging sold me. This one is the soft drink tint. It's a cute bottle packaging and when you open it, it's just like a cute little tint and it just looks like this when I swatch it. It just looks like a glossy finish but if you look at it, if you look at it this way, you can see the pink tint. I always get sold with cute packaging. And this one is a chic matte pen liner by Clio. I asked a lady from the store and I said, what's your best eyeliner and apparently it's this. Ooh. <gasps> That's so good. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Love it. I might have to do like a full face using all of this stuff just so that we can test the products out, you know? The next one I got, this one is from Japan. I got a Sailor Moon lip balm. Why not? I already used it, by the way, but it's this one right here. It's so cute. I told you, packaging. Once I see cute packaging, I'm like, gimme, gimme, gimme. But this is the box for it. And it's got Sailor Moon on it. And this is the Sailor Moon lip balm. It's actually really creamy as well. Like that's the thing, like even though the products are very cutesy and like they're in cute packaging, it's actually really good quality. Next one is this Can Make, it's a Tokyo brand. I got this in Shibuya from one of the drugstores there. So this one is in the shade, it doesn't have a name. It's just 07. It's like um, a gel consistency. It's called Can Make Jewel Star Eyes. This one, I just, I just had to. I don't know what it was. I got this one from Osaka when we went to Osaka. You're gonna be like, what the hell? But then you're gonna understand why I got it. Because it's just, you just have to have it. Okay, let's not break it now. It's a Hello Kitty nail cutter, oh. My gosh, like it even has a little keychain there of Hello Kitty. Hello, why the hell not? It's so cute. Let me open it. It's so freaking cute. Look at that. With a keychain of Hello Kitty. <laughs> have to have it. And you open it to use it, you flip it, and there's a metal nail file right there. I love it. Next one. Eye curler, I got it from a Japanese drugstore in Shibuya. It has a comb right there. So when you're curling your eyelashes, it combs your eyelashes as you curl it. Ta -da! Oh, this makes me miss Tokyo so much. Hmm. Oh, I also got this from Daiso. This was 801. I always bring skincare with me in the plane. I used to use like my contact lens cases, I know. I, like, I used to clean them out and then I used to put my cream on it just for the plane ride. But I saw this, 801, which is 54p. Basically, it's great for traveling. It's great for when you go on the plane. It even has a little spoolie right there. So what I usually do is I put my cleanser on this one and then I'll put my moisturizer on this jar. Next one. Cleanser from Korea. It's also by Kosarex. It's the low pH good morning cleanser. It's a gel cleanser. Again, I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. I've actually started using this as an everyday and I've been using it when I was in Korea up to this day. So it's been about three weeks since I got back. And to be honest, I don't really know if it's doing much difference. 
But um, I just feel like I'm just so hyped up about Korea that I don't even care. But it's a good cleanser. Next up are face masks, of course. So in Korea, um, last time I went, I got this face mask. It came in like two packs, so it was double the size of this, but I've already opened it up and put it away in my drawers. But this, I swear by this face mask. This is by Tony Moly, and it's the Hyaluronic Face Mask Sheet. And I went to Korea earlier on this year in January, and I have not stopped using this face mask. It's so amazing. It gives you like basically an instant glow. And whenever I get a spot, I use a spot cream, and then I put this on top of the spot cream and leave it on for 30 minutes. And it literally decreases the size of the spots and it decreases the redness of the spots. I honestly swear by this. I stopped up from this when I went to Korea again um, a few weeks ago. But yeah, I honestly swear by this face mask. And I always never used to get the hype about face masks. But when I got this, guys, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. So this face mask actually comes in different formulas. So this one is the hydrating formula and I also got this one which is a skin damage care formula this one I actually haven't tried yet this is a snail mask sheet and I think it's got like a little bit of snail mucin in it I don't know how they do it but I've noticed in Korea there's a lot of skincare with snail mucin like snail goo basically that's apparently supposed to be really good for your skin. Another face mask I got is by Mediheal. Mediheal seems to be very popular as well in Korea when I went. This one is a Collagen Impact Mask. This one you put on for 20 minutes and it's supposed to help with skin texture and... Oh yeah, here we go. Skin texture and also skin conditioning. It helps with moisturizing skin and normalization of skin cycle. It's for elasticity, vitality, nutrient and moisture. Hydrating and stuff. I just love hydrating masks because I get really dry throughout the winter, so. So I went to 3CE and I don't, I don't know about you, I always get sold with models and whenever like a model is wearing something glowy or whatever I'm like what's that what's that I went to free CE which is a style Nanda store I love this store it's so hip it's so amazing and then I got the back to baby glow beam it's basically a cream highlight Arrgh, packaging so tough it comes out like this but then let me put my arm down when you put it on your arm, you know if you can tell. Basically, like a, a base, for like a glowy base. Oh, you can't even. Oh yeah, you can kind of. Can you tell? There you go. Can you see that sheen? I put a bit on my hand. It just adds like a really nice sheen, and like you can use it for minimal makeup as well. There you go. It's a bunny. I know. I got sold again with the packaging. The Tony Moly Moist Mist. It's just a moisturizing mist. I actually use it today for this makeup look and I used quite a bit and it's not giving me oily vibes. It kind of like set my makeup really nicely. I don't know if you guys can tell but it's literally my face is nearly matte and it's just giving like a nice sheen to the face and I actually really like it. And that's it for makeup really. My favourite thing that I got though, of course, I went to Line Friends and I got... I got the teddy bear phone case. I am obsessed, obsessed with it. I just had to get it. It's just so cute. Let's change my phone case now, shall we, in this video. I used it once when I went to Korea, but I thought I don't really want to get it dirty, especially if we're going to be like walking around a lot and what if I drop it? I don't really want to get it dirty, so I saved it until I'll come back home so that it's um, nice and fresh. Oh. So it's nice and fresh. I'm obsessed. It's so cute with the ears. It's so cute. And that's it really. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on my little haul from Japan and Korea. And yeah, that's it really. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I have so many little friends.